Today I'm releasing an update for my pack of basic graphs and charts for DaVinci Resolve that let you do things like this and this and all of this. <laughs> This update is mostly to fix errors caused by a recent Resolve update, but I also added in some extra uh, new features and organization just for fun. If you head over to the store page at sterlingsupply.co and purchase my basic graphs pack, you will get this zip folder, open it up, and you have two folders here. You have the original version, which I barely touched in this update. I mostly fixed uh, one little bug, and then sort of the main SSC graphs. And I do note here, and I will note other places, this does require DaVinci Resolve 19. But if you open up this version, double click this DRFX, it will ask you if you either want to uh, install, if you're installing it for the first time, or overwrite. Um, but you can just click overwrite, let Resolve do its thing, and then. And then on any blank timeline, if you make sure your effects library is open, you're gonna come to Generators, Strong Supply Co, Graphs. And you have all these graphs. The first thing to note is that I have consolidated for both this circle outline, circle solid, uh, count up, horizontal, and vertical. I have eliminated um, splitting those between a sort of number version and a percentage version because I added that functionality just to each single version. But let's check out this circle outline, drop it on my timeline, and if I play, it slides right on up. We have a little percentage counter here. And let's check out our controls that are now neat, nice and neatly organized. If I open up graph controls, I can change this value here. And then I also have minimum and maximum value. Those make a little more sense in horizontal or vertical, so I'll hold off for there. But then we also have animation time scale. Right now, it sort of finishes up about here, but uh, this is time scale. So if I pull this down to 0.5, it will take twice as long if you want it a little bit longer. This time animation offset goes on a scale of zero to one. So if I pull this up to something like 0.5, it will now wait until halfway through my composition to play. But if you want it normal, one and zero, and then some basic transform controls here. And kind of importantly, these transform controls are happening inside the shape system. So if for whatever reason you want like a giant jumbo sized uh, you can do this, you can scale in this much without losing any quality, any information. Uh, I'll reset and then we can check out style controls where we have things like the circle scale, the circle thickness, and a requested feature was splitting the color of this background bar um, with this main value bar. Individual opacity for those as well. And of course the last section is this label controls. And there's lots of functionality in here. Of course, you can always just toggle it off if you want to change the font size, color, that sort of stuff, as well as this distance offset. So it will always rotate around correctly, but uh, how much you want that to go around. Maybe you want it on the a little inside, you can do it. But then uh, some really important controls. Number one, uh, if I pull this back out, uh, this text labels, if I click that, it will swap out that number for text that you could enter in this custom field here, down here. But if you don't want that, if you wanna stick with the number, uh, we have a custom suffix box. By default, this is a percentage, but if you want to deal with these hard numbers, uh, just delete that percentage sign and it'll be the raw number. And again, by default, this number counts up, but if you don't want it to count up, just uncheck that count up box and it will show the final number during the entire animation. Lots of quick ways to change like the general vibe and feel of these presets. Uh, next, the circle solid, pretty much the same, except the circle is just solid this time. So instead of that uh, thickness, you have just like the general circle size. I do wanna take just a small second to talk about uh, the effects I kind of just tossed in here just because, and that being just like a general count up text animation. If you want something super basic, you can use wherever, then this is just standard text scale up. Um, with just a few of the controls, like that custom suffix and change the value and position scale and stuff, uh, as well as those animation controls. Super simple, but hopefully super uh, flexible because of it. And finally, these horizontal and uh, vertical, not finally, but these horizontal and uh, vertical bars, pretty similar, just one is horizontal, one is vertical. And here, uh, let me check out the vertical. You really start to see the value of those other options I was gonna talk about. Let me hop in um, and uh, uncheck this or, or get rid of this custom suffix. So now we are dealing with uh, just raw number values, right? Again, in label control, since we also are showing that minimum and maximum, um, you can always change all that information or toggle them on and off. But in graph controls, let's say maybe I have an effect where I had, you know, two or three of these on screen and I wanted to adjust my Y axis so that it's not zero to whatever. Say this scale was something crazy like 
1,000. Now, 42 would be very low, but if this was something like, uh, no, 256. No, no, something bigger, like 751. Cool. You saw that that scaled correctly with the maximum value, but I can also pull up this minimum value, and by default, it only goes up to 100, but you'll see that this uh, main value is even changing when I do that. And if I crank this up to something like 500, you see that it maintains the correct proportional distance between those values. It also updates the text for this minimum value so that these sort of uh, minimum and maximum values are clearly communicated, at least in this default version. The text will still animate from zero. Um, so maybe this might be an instance where you uh, just uh, uncheck that count up. So uh, it shows you uh, the correct distance based on that minimum value. I think this is pretty cool. And like I said, especially uh, useful in situations where maybe you want to toss a, a couple of these up and get, you know, really fine views of like this percentage change. Now those are where I packed the big updates. Like I said, um, a recent version of Resolve broke some of these in interesting places. So I had to fix that as well as add this organization and, you know, um, some of this color control and extra text control in here. But these really four, not counting the count up, um, had the biggest issues, so that's where I poured the most time. These line uh, presets, as well as pie chart presets, um, if I check this line four preset, shoop, it has four lines. You can pull up these individual values for each one, and it will update here. These line presets and pie chart presets um, are untouched for now. They are still functional. In general, I do want to continue working long term on this graphs pack, really pack it full of features, pack it full of new graphs, new styles. And while there are things I would like to update about uh, these other sort of styles, these lines and pie charts, um, they were functional, so they stayed as is for now. <laughs> But that gets to this last point of, you know, future update. If there is something specifically about these line charts or pie charts that you would like updated in its eventual update, let me know. And if there are any new styles or new uh, spins on graphs and charts that you would eventually like to see in this graphs pack, let me know in the comments as well. A lot of this kind of stuff I feel like is right in my wheelhouse. I'm pretty comfortable with this. So if it's something that you, the audience likes, if some of you go and actually purchase this pack of graphs, that will absolutely be motivation to really uh, keep development rolling on this. I'm sure some of you didn't even know this pack of graphs and charts existed. So now you know, if some of you were actively running into issues, hopefully this um, resolves those for you. And like I said, um, if you're into this thing, stick around because hopefully there'll be a bit more of it coming down the road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.